discusses how to run a steady state NCA using a, a multi dosing data sheet. And I will discuss the PK parameters at the steady state as well. I now have a project open in Phoenix. Let's take a look at the data set first. This is a time concentration data set that contains multiple subjects with multiple dosing groups. And each subject also received multiple dosings as well. And we can tell that within each subject group that the subject received an initial dose and then followed by several multiple doses at a dosing interval of eight hours until the steady state was reached, which was 120 hours. And there the rich sampling happened during the initial dose and the steady state. So we want to run a NCA analysis for the steady state data only. So how to do that? Let's take a look at the setup tab since this object has been executed already. And if we look at the dosing mapping table in here that I used an internal worksheet. So this box was checked so that I can enter the correct information in here. And for the time column, I entered 120 which is a starting point for the steady state. And for the tau column, I entered eight. So this is the dosing interval for this multiple dose study. And now everything has been set. So let's go to the results tab to take a look at the results. So let's first take a look at the plots in here. We can tell that from this plot, the x-axis, the starting point is 120 hours. And it's the same thing for other objects as well. So this is exactly what we want to do for this NCA analysis. So that means everything is correct. And for the next section, let's discuss the PK parameters. Since this is a NCA analysis for steady state, so there are several PK parameters that we usually don't see for regular NCA analysis. So I'm scrolling to the right to see those parameters. So starting from this column that we have T main. So T main is the time when the C main happens. And C main is the column right next to T main. So this is a minimum observed concentration. And for steady state, it occurs during the dosing interval. And this column of C tau is the concentration observed at the end of the dosing interval. Also next to C tau, we have this C average, which is the average concentration over the dosing interval. And there's also these two parameters called swing and swing tau. These two parameters measure the amount of the fluctuation during the interval. Swing uses C main to calculate and swing tau uses C tau to calculate. There are also these two parameters called fluctuation percentage and fluctuation percentage tau, they measure the percentage of the oscillation. And again, the fluctuation um, percentage uses C main for calculation and fluctuation percentage tau uses C tau for calculation. This concludes the video. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you. Thank you.